In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple calculator using Proteus. I'm using 4-bit full adder, which has two inputs. I can display the inputs on the seven segment display, one and one. The inputs are going to be added together and we get a result on the third seven segment display. Let's make it five plus one is six plus three is eight. And if we get a carry out, let's say nine plus seven, we get 16. We cannot display 16 on the seven second display. We have a carry out and the LED, the green LED turns on. So let's go ahead and let's do the circuit together. Let's just start by adding our seven segment display. We need three of them. Then let's out let's add our 74LS47IC, our driver for our seven second display. And let's connect the output pins of the IC to the seven segment display. This power pin of the seven second display has to be connected to uh, Vs of CC since our seven second display is common anode. We go to terminals, power, and we connect this pin to power. We can also name it five volt VCC. We can also add some bypass capacitors, 10 microfarad to power and, and ground. Here's the capacitor and connect this to ground. Over here, back to our IC, we don't need these three pins actually, these lamp tests and other pins. So we connect all of them to power to disable them. And we will do the same with the second and third IC. Let's add our 4-bit full adder IC, LS83 over here. And let's connect the output pins of the IC, S1 to S4, to the inputs of the LS47 IC, A to D. Pin 13 is the carry in pin and since we don't have any carry in coming in, we connect it to ground, terminals, ground, ground and pin 14, uh, I believe it's active, active high or the positive uh, logic. So if we get a carry out, we can turn an LED. So how we can do it, we can connect it to a resistor and also a green LED but in different direction, I'm going to rotate it and place it over here. And the cathode will be connected to ground. So if we get the carry out, then the LED, the green LED turns on. And we can use 330 ohm resistor to limit the current across the LED. We have our inputs in our comparator, input A and input B which pin 10 is the least significant bit and pin 1 is the highest significant bit. And these inputs have to, have to be connected to our deep switch. So I will connect them in order least significant bit to least significant bit. And also for the input B as well, I will do the same. Let's connect the inputs of the LS47IC 
to the deep switches we will start with the first IC pin 7 goes all the way over here then to pin 1 of this deep switch then B to 2 C to 3 and D to 4 I made a mistake over here as you can see it's connected to other pin so we'll do the again we'll do it again for pin C goes all the way over here then to pin 3 that's it and we will do the same with the second IC and second deep switch let's have a look at the circuit here we have our deep switches input A and input B they are connected to the power 5 volt we have also pull down resistors 1k ohm it means that the resistor keeps the input at a low logic level when the switch is open when the switch is closed the input goes to a high logic level which is 1 I've also added some text over here for bit adder a plus symbol over here and an equal over here and let's figure out how the circuit works so I can generate binary numbers using these two deep switches each of them they can generate 4 bit binary number and since they are connected to the counter and the 7 second display the numbers generated from here will be shown in the first two 7 segment display then we have our full adder 4 bit full adder which is LS83 they are also connected to the deep switches and to the counter and the outputs are connected to the inputs of the third counter it means that whenever I add these two binary numbers over here the result will be shown in the third binary number and if we get a carry out then this LED will be turned on so let's start the simulation the switches are all off so we have to get zeros on the 7 second display perfect now let's generate 1 1 plus 0 is 1 perfect let's generate 3 3 plus 0 3 now let's generate numbers on the second uh, deep switch so that also we get some numbers over here 1 3 plus 1 is 4 now let's get 3 plus 3 which is 6 3 plus 4 is 7 now let's get 8 4 plus 4 8 let's generate 9 and let's generate 10 and let's see what happens so in order to get 10 we need this one also on 5 plus 1 5 plus 5 is 10 which is not visible on the 7 second display since the 7 second display can display numbers from 1 to 9 so now we have a what we have over here we have oops I'm generating too much numbers okay now it's better so we are we can generate 7 plus 8 which is 15 and the segments of the LED will be all off now the carry is on when we get uh, numbers greater than 15 so 7 plus 9 is 16 the 7 second display cannot display this number and we get a carry out and the LED will be on let's increase the number for example let's make it 8 plus 9 and let's see what happens so I have 0 0 0 0 I'm sorry 0 0 0 1 on the first input which is 8 then I have 1 0 0 1 which is 9 on the second input and 9 is over here now we get the carry also we get 17 and it's not uh, possible on the 7 segment display and that's why we get a carry out and the LED our green LED turns on so that's it with the whole idea of 
full bit four bit adder i hope you guys enjoyed this simulation and this video if you enjoyed it please give me a like and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks and have a good day